Do more sting videos even if you have to travel to access different species. You ever one of your videos? I shouldn't have to travel to access new species. There's still so many species here that I'm seeking. So informational. I need to start making two or three of them jerks. I don't want to do what big businesses do. I'm trying to get millions of views just to touch you. For at least one every day. No, seriously, Great Outdoors, I, we have to get up. But all of you folks out there, please follow Great Outdoors because they do amazing work. Right here in this capsule, I have what is known as the pigeon foreign tailed wasp. Hi, Great Outdoors. Um, I still want more species just to represent the state of our biodiversity. Don't get me wrong, the world does possess so many unique species, but there's just still so many here that I'm seeking. I'm looking for the rare and protected ones that have escaped adversity. We've all got problems, and I certainly don't want to travel the world just to find them. If you get too stressed out, I found that nature has the solutions. It can cancel out our pollution and feed our population. Nature is the absence of soil degradation, and it can feed every other organism. We are a product of the environment we created, and nature is our obligation. Category 5 storm, winds up to 185 miles an hour. I try not to watch the news, it's too crazy, and the stuff that sticks in our memory, oddly, is negativity. By mandatory evacuations are already in place from Florida. I'm from Florida, so this really isn't that new to me. One day everything can be copacetic, and the next day it just isn't. The storm hit, and the trees fell, and people said we need relief now. We packed our trucks and we headed out. We spent a year cleaning up trees that fell. Devastation was so vast and spread out. Trees were down all across the south. Almost every year another storm came, and we just kept doing the same thing. Since 2005, it's just never ending. But that's me and that's my story. I've been traveling from disaster to disaster, waiting for that happily ever after. This may be the costliest government cover-up of all time by China, the, that the COVID-19 virus originated in the Wuhan lab. Then the virus hit, and the world's been locked down. There ain't no traveling anyhow. Hand sanitizer and toilet paper ain't nothing but empty shelves. We got the stay-at-home order, and that's created so many new hoarders. Ventilators, respirators, mask gowns, essential supplies are way down. Most businesses are closed now, medical supplies all but ran out. Only essential businesses run now. Florida's beaches actually shut down. There's way too many people running around. Deforestation is a real problem, and replanting is a pretty simple solution. Way back in the 7th century BC, the Chinese built a wall to protect their country. Right now we're in a tree deficit. We have to plant more trees than we cut. That's one way we can keep more carbon pollution from exponentially going up. China, you've built the Great Green Wall. You realize there's a new enemy now. Maps actually show how Asia is greener now because after thousands of years of turning the plow, microorganisms in the soil were down. The soil died and farmers struggled to stay alive. It all started with the seed, then the trees in the ground. You made the yellow dragon bow down. Asia planted billions of trees and brought the soil back to life. This story reminds me of Frankenstein. That story in China should be a prequel to a reptile in Florida that needs a sequel. Where did we leave off at? Oh yeah, that snake, the one with the red, yellow, and black. There's quite few that look like that. Well, we left off with the coral snake, but that's often confused with the Scarlet King snake and the milk snake. But the South Florida rainbow snake? The South Florida rainbow snake is extinct. I see, they say it is. Wait, is he venomous? Actually, I don't know. Because I think he's venomous if he just killed that thing. No, I think he is. Yeah. It's red on black. The South Florida rainbow snake is a unique species, not to be confused with other rainbow snakes found in similar environments. Black on yellow. Man, some people can't even tell the difference in a rainbow snake and a coral snake. This is important. If we don't speak on it, then it will have died for no reason. Died? Really, that's an understatement. Extinction is my correction. If we don't speak about it, then it's an extinction with no justification. Truly and sadly, there is no just reason. The thing we've learned is that, oh yeah, extinction can happen. And every action has an equal or opposite reaction. I come out here every day and plant trees, plants, and flowers in my garden. I give a home to birds and keep them in my yard. 
giving them bird houses, feeders, and water sources. I built a pond so insects as well as every other creature can get a drink for refreshment. I could have bought a property that already had trees. What's the reward for something when it's just given? For the money I've spent and just keep spending, I could have bought a forest and ensured its preservation. I could have donated more money to charities in the name of conservation. I guess I'm hoping that others who buy property with trees actually care about our ecosystem. I hope that the trees is their primary reason and not just location. The property I purchased, if the climate were different, would undergo desertification. I bought property that was abandoned. It was so bad, I mean the trees were leaving. I know one day that people will change, and we will have a big tree nation. Right now, my biggest enemy is known as the algorithm. Thank you for making it this far. Consider your time in the name of conservation. I've had good friends get mad and say they're unsubscribing. I said I guess you're not in it for the right reasons. When it does, it's going to be an amazing spectacle. I'll make sure to keep everybody updated. I've seen people get mad because of my reactions. Compare me with someone that makes big money off of advertisements. And yet, I'm doing this shit with my passion. This one's pretty chill, so this is the Palestis dorsalis sting test. Alright, here we go. It's not wanting to uh, release the sting. Alright, let's see here. Oh, it, oh, it tried. It didn't I love it. making videos and wildlife is my life, man. I found it interesting that they reopened the case about South Florida's rainbow snake. If you spot this rare and reclusive species, you will be rewarded with a $500 reward. Oh, but that's where things get good. The South Florida rainbow snake is a harmless aquatic snake that feeds exclusively on the American eel. It is known from just three specimens, the last of which was collected in 1952 in Fish Eating Creek. In Glades County, Florida, that's right, the Everglades. In early October, the service declared the snake extinct, thereby denying it protections under the Endangered Species Act. The service made its determination without conducting any focused surveys for the reclusive reptile, and despite anecdotal evidence of the snakes eating eels in Fishing and Creek area. Wait, that's crazy, right? This snake is declared extinct without even conducting a survey? Hmm, just think. No protection, well, until their plans sink and this virus leaves and we rediscover the species. This wouldn't be my first time finding rare reclusive or endangered species. In fact, every species I've seeked has made an appearance for me. We found the manatee, we found the eagle, we found the gopher tortoise, macaques, and we found some of the most reclusive animals. The green sea turtles nesting, dolphins eating fish, and the coral snake. I mean, we've already found similar species. The largest filmed eastern mud snake and the salt marsh snake. I already know that this shit ain't gonna be easy. But if nobody finds it and this virus leaves, like the trees on my property, I'll go seek. I guess we'll just have to wait and see.